Hey, it's the Nerdy Sports Fan. We're digging back into the NFC, NFL schedule coming up. The Giants are the um, NFC East team we're starting with, and uh, let's get right to it because this is going to be a rough one, guys. Um, they're starting off at the Cowboys. They're not good enough to beat a playoff team on the road. Uh, so, yeah, no, that's a loss. Um, then they're playing the Bills at home. Um, the Bills are a far better situation than the Giants right now. Year two of a talented quarterback um, in the same offense, and they focus on the right areas with the offensive line and the defense, so they're going to be solid this year. Might even tickle making the playoffs. The Giants are nowhere near that. Uh, Barkley's fantastic. He'll have a great game, but they're still going to lose. Um, at the Buccaneers, they're going to lose. Um, so... They're at the Buccaneers. It's hot, humid, awful in that area of the country uh, this time of year. And uh, the Giants, with a young, not-so-great mix of talent going up against the Bruce Arians team that's going to be re-energized just because they have Bruce Arians. Um, yeah, they're going to lose. Um, so, versus Washington, they're going to win. All right, Saquon Barkley is going to be fantastic, and that's all they're going to need against a team that has a worse quarterback situation than the Giants do right now. Um, now, versus Minnesota, they're going to win. All right, Minnesota is going to be prone to drop a few kind of gimme sort of games. That's just the makeup of their team. Um, they're going to be scary, talented, and really good, but they're going to lose some stupid ones, and uh, this will be one of them. So, at the Patriots, don't overthink it. They're going to lose. Eli's only good against these guys in the Super Bowl. And um, versus the Cardinals, they're going to win. All right? Uh, I, I'm not sold on Murray. Okay? Uh, that offense, maybe. Great. Okay. Uh, but Murray himself, um, he's a shrinky dink. Um, he might even get hurt this game. But it's going to happen this season. So... Um, at the Lions, they're going to lose. Um, the Lions aren't the greatest team, but they're good enough to beat the Giants. Okay, they, they have some talent, they have a solid quarterback, um, they have a coach that needs to pull his head out of his ass, but, um, yeah, they, they have a good enough roster to stack up against the Giants. Um, versus the Cowboys, losing again, um, yeah, uh, the Cowboys are just a better team, so don't overthink it. Um, at the Jets, loss. Uh, Adam Gase is, uh, by now going to have some amount of traction with, uh, Sam Darnold. And, uh, year two quarterback versus, by this point in the season for the Giants, year one quarterback, yeah, they're going to do, uh, pretty poorly. Um, so, then they have the bye week. And you'll notice that I said last week with the Jets, they're going to start their new young quarterback. Um, you draft these guys to see what they can do. And with a very weak start to the season for Eli, they're going to get a head start on it a week before the bye, and then the bye week to put some more information in. Now, this is not the standard sort of practice, okay? Usually it's after the bye week, but yeah, they're going to get jumpy. They, they knew they should have gotten rid of Eli last season. This is where they start. Um... <coughs> So, uh, moving on from the bye week, uh, at the Bears, they're going to lose. The Bears are a playoff team. Again, these guys aren't, so yeah, don't overthink it. Um, versus the Packers, they're losing. Rodgers is, uh, he's better on the road in the cold. And, and yeah, they're just going to be a scary team this year over in Green Bay. Um, at the Eagles, you're losing. Yeah, the Eagles have a much much deeper roster. And uh, Carson Wentz has stuff to prove this season. Um, versus Miami. You guessed it. You're going to lose. Um, yeah, uh, culture is going to be a big thing in this game. So um, the Patriots kind of vibe that they tried to uh, get with their coaching hire by now in the season should really take hold. And... Um, with the same kind of roster talent on both sides, 
save Saquon Barkley. Um, yeah, I, I just think that Miami by now will have things figured out, and the Giants are still going to be in year two of a tire fire. Um, at Washington, hey, you're going to win this one. Um, Washington is just, well, they're worse than you guys are right now. Um, they have a bad quarterback situation. They don't have the benefit of a talented running back like Barkley. Um, and then versus the Eagles, you're going to win. By this point, the Eagles will be putting it in cruise control and uh, resting people, and uh, you guys are going to have something to try and prove, um, try and carry some momentum into next season. For those paying attention at home, that's four wins. Count them, four I don't really expect much out of the Giants. I've been bagging on them for a couple of seasons now, rightfully so. It doesn't seem that Gettleman knows what the hell he's doing anymore. And um, I kind of hope for the Giants' sake that this is the offseason that leads to Gettleman's firing. He will saddle the next regime with a bad first-round pick quarterback that will probably end up getting the next GM and coach fired as well. Yeah. Gettleman was that bad, and um, I still think Saquon Barkley is more likely to retire without seeing the playoffs, if he stays with the Giants, uh, than he is to really play on a very good Giants team. So it's sad because he's a, a really an immaculate talent, and he's going to be great to watch all season. Buy yourself a Barkley jersey, get him on your fantasy team, do anything you can to actually root for your team. Um, but it's going to be a bad season. I'm sorry.